Lex Friedman is a Russian computer scientist who was raised in the USA. Known for wearing a black suit with a white shirt and standing at just five foot six in height, he doesn't exactly look like a skilled martial artist. However, he is. This is the beauty of learning martial arts. You can look unassuming, yet still know how to fight. With regards to Friedman, his love of combat sports is just another example of his multi-talented personality. It would be easy to pigeonhole him as a nerdy scientist, but the reality is he has a very diverse skill set and many talents. Now we shall analyse his martial arts background. In 2018, Friedman was awarded his black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and has trained the martial art for well over 10 years. When he got his black belt, in his speech he said, I got my Jiu Jitsu black belt yesterday. I've learned more about life from martial arts than from any other endeavour I've undertaken. The biggest lesson is that I'm not special, far from it, and that to get better at anything, you have to work hard. For anyone who has trained martial arts, this is a pretty relatable quote and shows how training can humble us all. Based on his belt, it's fair to say that BJJ is Friedman's best martial art. Unlike certain celebrity martial artists, Friedman is the real deal and has actually competed quite a lot too, sometimes winning gold medals at competitions such as Grappler's Quest. There are short clips of footage online showing Friedman competing, so he has definitely lived a true martial artist lifestyle for a while and pressure tested his techniques in a sports setting. He has also trained with the likes of Gordon Ryan, who is considered the best ever in no gi. Basically, Friedman is as legit as anyone when it comes to BJJ. Lex Friedman has also wrestled growing up. Although Friedman doesn't wrestle anymore, he certainly used to. This shouldn't come as a surprise considering he is born in Russia and grew up in the USA. These two countries may have their obvious differences, but both share the love for wrestling. In one tweet, Friedman wrote, I competed in combat sports my whole life, wrestling, judo and jiu-jitsu. But other than this, we don't have much to go on in terms of how much he wrestled. It's fair to assume that the bulk of his wrestling took place in his younger years, which makes sense as it's a common hobby for those in the US education system. It also makes sense that Friedman once wrestled and now trains BJJ. Often, many of the takedowns in jiu-jitsu derive from wrestling, especially that in no gi. It also gives practitioners a good base, sense of gravity and athleticism which is used for other martial arts. As a busy adult though, wrestling can be very tough on the body compared to Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Completing his history of grappling disciplines, Lex Friedman also trains judo. He has trained judo sporadically over the years, and like wrestling, judo is also often used in BJJ. When standing in the gi, the bulk of jiu-jitsu takedowns are taken from judo, which is because BJJ was originally inspired by the Japanese martial art. In a 2021 podcast with Olympic medalist Travis Stevens, Friedman confessed that he had started training judo and was learning it at the time. This is a sensible decision for Friedman, considering that he's already a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Sometimes, you want to throw people instead of pulling guard. When considering his background in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, wrestling and Judo, it's sensible to say that Friedman is a very accomplished and well-rounded grappler. Whilst Lex Friedman is certainly a very skilled grappler, he is lacking in the striking department. In all honesty, as a hobbyist martial artist, there's no need for him to learn how to throw a punch or a kick, as most civilians will never use these skills anyway, and against most members of the public, his grappling skills would be more than enough to suffice. What's more, at 5'6 in height, it's safe to assume that Friedman is best off as a grappler. 
This is because his reach is naturally smaller than most and it's ideal that he should take advantage of his naturally stockier build. So, although adding striking to his game would definitely improve Lex Friedman's role as a martial artist, we also have to be realistic too. For a guy in his 30s with a demanding job and busy lifestyle, there's not much demand to train striking either. Based on all the evidence, we can definitely conclude that Lex Friedman is a legitimate martial artist whose main passion lies in grappling, specifically Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Although BJJ is now more popular than ever, it's important to remember that Lex Friedman started training when it was much less popular. What's more interesting is that despite his hectic schedule and as he approaches his 40s, Lex Friedman still continues to train. With this in mind, there's every chance that he will continue to be a lifelong martial artist.